Hey, my name is Margaret Wong, and I'm a private practice immigration lawyer. And I'm here to talk about non-LPR cancellation of removal. So the first question is, what is non-LPR cancellation of removal? There are two ways to cancel a removal. One is non-LPR, that means you don't have a green card. One is LPR cancellation of removal. I already have a green card, but I have criminal records. How could I protect my green card? So today's topic will solely focus on I don't have a green card. And what is my way to get a green card through this relief? To win a non-LPR removal of a cancellation case, we can only file the 42B forms and all the supporting documents in immigration court. Who can apply and who counts as a qualifying relative? Any persons who have no papers could apply if you are in America more than 10 years. And within the past 10 years, if you have left America for more than 90, for not more than 90 days and adding all the trips together cannot be more than 180 days. You have to be a good person of good moral character for more than 10 years. Some criminal records will stop the 10 years, most criminal records don't. And you have to have qualifying relatives who are parent, spouse, or child who have a green card or citizenship. The next question is, how are the 10 years counted? Right, it came, you count it from the beginning when you come to America, but if you left the country for more than 90 days, you start counting from the day you come back. But you leave the country three times, like more than 20 days, 30 days, and adding together more than 180 days, you start from a day after you come back. You have to have a, really a lot of stuff to prove you were here. Who can apply? and who counts as a qualifying relative? Any persons who have no papers could apply if you are in America more than 10 years. And within the past 10 years, if you have left America for not more than 90 days and adding all the trips together cannot be more than 180 days. You have to be a good person of good moral character for more than 10 years. Some criminal records will stop the 10 years, most criminal records don't. And you have to have qualifying relatives who are parent, spouse, or child who have a green card or citizenship. So you have mentioned um, good moral character, but what does good moral character actually mean? Actually, that's a very strange concept. What is good moral character? Years ago, if you marry someone within a month after divorce, it's considered you are like a marriage breaker. You may not be a person of good moral character. You should not have theft charges. You should not be carrying a gun. You should not, a good moral character means pass a smell test. I am a good person. I'm happily married or I'm happily not married. I did not commit a crime. It is a strange concept, but you know it when you see it and smell it. <laughs> what is the process like and how long does it take? Okay. The process, the, you start the process by filing the 42B. You file it with court and get a timestamp. You also need to file and pay $185 with USCIS. Mm -hmm. And with the receipt and the timestamp, you can get a work permit called C-10 versus a C-8. C-8 is good for two years, C-10 is good for one year. 150 days before that expires, you need to go ahead and file another one-year extension. Once you file the extension, you have a receipt that gives you 180 days of extension, even though it may not be approved within 180 days. Okay. The next question is, what happens to me when I receive a notice to appear at court? 
This means that, remember I just said earlier that whenever the court refer you, immigration refer you to court, they issue an NTA, that's a notice to appear. Notice to appear stops the clock unless there's no date and time under the new law US versus Piera. So if the clock is stopped, they cut off your tenure. So let's be careful about that. Uh, what benefits do I get if my case is granted? Can I get a green card or a work permit? Absolutely. It's beautiful because you can keep extending your C8, C10 work permit until the number is approved. Once it's approved, you don't need to apply for the green card. The court will go to USCIS to directly send you the green card. The difference between an asylum green card and a 42 green card is asylum green card they already reduced one year. So technically you can apply for citizenship three years and nine months after the green card versus the 42 green, B green card, you can apply four years and nine months after that. My name is Margaret Wong and I just want to let you know, we are always here for you. Our offices open from eight o'clock to six o'clock. We open at least five days a week. I do work on weekends, but I don't answer questions on weekends. You can always reach us with your questions below. And I, it's always a two-way street. The more questions I hear from you, the more I'm knowing what our clients want from us. Because a lot of times, even though I myself went through the whole green card process, citizen process, and I know how scared I was, I also went through a lot of, you know, nobody becomes a great lawyer, a great doctor, a great anything without really that first 20 years of hardship and studying and learning. So ask us questions below, reach us in our web, or, or ask, just ask, because we, we try to really answer your questions. Sometimes we couldn't answer every single question, but we do whatever we can, and we'll teach each other how to do better. And have a very nice day.